dudes, if I had a dollar for all the hoes Snapchat has gotten me, I'd be a fucking trillionaire. Oh, wait, I am a god and I'm already a trillionaire. What am I talking about? What I'm trying to say is that I got a lot of hoes, okay? I mean, have you seen my outro? I even get hoes in my outro. I mean, how many YouTubers have hoes in their outro? That's a trick question. I'm the only YouTuber you should be subscribed to. All the others are just too busy making the same bullshit videos with the same obvious advice over and over again. You've heard it all from them already. And besides, most of them are so politically correct that they're too afraid to even curse on their own fucking channel. I mean, for fuck's sakes, just let out a fuck or two every once in a while. It's good for you, bro. You see, I'm a god. And if I'm saying it's okay, then you know it's okay. Zeus, what the fuck, man? This is a Snapchat video. None of this is in the script. Stick to the script. Damn. Ah, shit. My bad. I got off track. Okay. Why is Snapchat so good at getting girls in the first place? What's the benefit? Here's why. Snapchat consists of casual, low-pressure conversations. Snapchatting someone is way less pressure than texting. Sending someone a snap is more acceptable than sending someone a text because it's usually implied that you just sent out a snap to multiple people. This makes conversations more loose and more spontaneous. A girl is more likely to respond in engaging conversations with you if it's spontaneous, whereas sending someone a text message with the words hi is less spontaneous and way more pressure. Think about it. When you get a Snapchat from someone, you take it less seriously than if someone went out of their way to text you. This spontaneity makes the barrier to respond way lower. Girls are less guarded when getting a snap versus getting a text. See, this is why you'll find that sometimes when using Snapchat, a conversation can end up going for hours just after one random snap. The fact that it's so spontaneous is also the reason a regular Snapchat can end up turning into you guys exchanging nudes just 20 minutes later. Yeah, I know you guys are a bunch of horny bastards. Don't think I don't see all those dick pics you're sending. I can see them clearly from here at Mount Olympus. I mean, we got celestial Wi-Fi up here, okay? Speaking of Wi-Fi, the most important piece of advice I can give you when it comes to Snapchat is to treat it like it's an email list. What I mean to say is that you should send out a daily update to your list of prospective girls once a day. Send an update or something funny or interesting that happened in your day. Now, once you start doing this for a few days, you can start sending updates on the updates that you sent out earlier. So this way, you can start creating callback humor with the girls about stuff you snapped them in the past. And then it becomes sort of an inside joke between the two of you. But little does she know you have the same inside jokes with all 10 other girls you're snapping. Boom! And before some social justice keyboard warrior types out a comment saying, that's so mean to Snapchat multiple girls at the same time. Yeah, I got two things to say to you. One, it's not mean, it's called efficiency. Number two, girls do the same fucking thing, bro. You don't think your average hot girl isn't snapping 20 guys a day? Come on, bro. This is another reason why treating your Snapchat like an email list is so effective. And if you're not on my email list, then you're massively missing out. Click the link in the description and check out my newest email breakdown of a psychological trick known as congruence. The key to making girls obsessed with you. Now, back to your Snap update list. When it's treated as an update, not a personal message, the pressure is way less and it's more casual. She knows that you're sending it to other people, so it doesn't come off as a tryhard and it's more like you're letting a friend in on a funny thing that happened to you. I try not to send those more than once or twice a day at the max. Sometimes I skip a day. It just depends. The whole point is to use this message as a feeler. The girls who are up for a spontaneous conversation will reply and boom, you're successfully starting a conversation in a way that's natural and organic. It also creates regularity and a routine for snapping her, so it's not weird or thirsty when you send her a message. It's way more chill and laid back. This is another huge of snap. There's regularity to it. If you get on someone's recent or best friends list, you're more likely to snap each other every day. She gets more comfortable and used to talking to you, she imagines what it would be like to talk to you in person. So when you go for the hangout, she'll feel more open to meeting up with you because she feels like she already knows you. Hey, you know, you guys have been going back and forth and, and shit's been rolling. But in order to get to this point, you need to have a good conversation with her in the first place. And this brings me to my next point. Generic snaps. Don't send generic snaps with no value. This is why sending funny and interesting updates is so effective. 
Sending a snap that says, hey, or what's up, provides no value to the conversation at all. Why would she respond to that? There's no incentive to reply. The only time you can get away with messages like this are if the girl already likes you and is already bought in. People like conversations that are engaging. They don't want the conversation to feel like a chore. In the early stages, your snaps or messaging in general needs to provide value to the girl. It needs to be intriguing, funny, entertaining, and so on. When I was in college, I didn't have a full-length mirror. So every time I took a picture of my outfit in front of it, I'd have to lift my foot up and put it on the sink. Here's some examples I made my manager do way back in the day when I tested this idea. I used to send updates of my outfit in this funny pose all the time, with text about something funny that happened earlier that morning or something funny that was about to happen that day. This brings me to my next point. Don't send pics of one-fifth of your face, bro. You know what I'm talking about. Guys send girls pics like this, BC, they feel too insecure to send pics of their whole face. You know Snapchat has filters for a reason, right? It's to cover your ugly face, bro. Sending the same corner of your face over and over again is boring as fuck. Every guy does it, and it shows that you're too uncomfortable with yourself. Just use a filter. It's funnier and more entertaining anyway. Another thing to keep in mind is that nobody replies to every snap. So if she doesn't reply, don't freak out. Don't start stalking all of her movements online and seeing if she's replying to other people. Just act like nothing. One of the biggest mistakes I see is guys getting butt hurt when they don't get a response from the girl they like. You should be too busy living your own life to even realize that shit. This is what I mean. Do you respond to every snap from your homies? No, of course not. And this is no different. Stories. Another thing you can do naturally to start conversations is respond to stories. It's more organic, natural, and a little less try-hard than hitting her up directly. But there's a caveat here. Only reply to stories that make sense to reply to. If she's at a restaurant or place that you've been to before, you can say something like, hey, I love that place, or I hate that place, worst food ever. Whatever it is you say, just make sure there's context and make sure it makes sense. Don't reply to a selfie with her boobs hanging out saying something like, damn, baby, I like to motorboat those sometime. Mm. I mean, you know, why belabor the obvious? Streaks. A lot of guys think if a girl has a streak with them that it's proof that they're at least into them a little bit. Not true. The fact that she taps her screen one extra time on your name next to 10 other guys means she likes you? Yeah, okay, bro. Now look, I've banged tons of girls in my life, and you want to know how many of those I had streaks with? Maybe two. The streak is not necessary, so don't put so much emphasis on it. A lot of guys use streaks to get validation from girls that they like, realizing it doesn't really mean that much because you still have to deploy good game to make the girl like you. I honestly just avoid it in general since it can come off as being too try-hard, but use your own judgment with a girl and make your own decision. All of my advice is important to take with a grain of salt. It really depends on your situation with a girl. And this emphasizes a greater point. If you snap a girl often who goes to your school, don't be a weirdo when you see her. Say hi to her. The whole reason you're snapping her is to get her more comfortable with talking to you in person. If you see her, say hi. Actually talk to her. The whole point of snapping your crush is to hang out with her. Saying hi and making conversation is the natural next step. Don't do that immature thing where you see her in person and don't know how to act, so you just act like you don't know her. Yeah, I'm talking to you high school boys. It's super beta. It shows that you're too scared to talk to her. And it's kind of fucking weirdo to do this, all right? It's actually less weird to just say hi to her and be normal. Ending the conversation. Once the convo reaches a natural end, leave it at that and talk to her again another time. You don't need to snap the girl you like 24-7. Only talk to her to build comfort, show her you're a cool guy, and then within a pretty quick timeline, you should be going for the hangout. Your goal isn't to be Snapchat best friends, because if you do, that'll take too long. Suddenly, she's going to start sending you nudes asking if they look good enough to send to her boyfriend, and then you'll be grade A cucked, my friend. I mean, there's nothing worse than being a Snapchat BFF. Jesus, don't let that happen to you. Oh shit, would you look at that? I just got a snap from your stepmom. She wants to hang. <laughs> Fuck this video. I'm gonna go get laid. Hey, if you like this video, then drop a line, subscribe, and hit the bell icon because YouTube loves to censor my shit for being too savage. Hell, I'm not even sure this one's gonna make it. And if you want to learn the psychological trick of congruence and how it makes girls obsessed with you, then click the link in the description and I'll immediately be emailing you my breakdown on how to do it. 
Ah, I love you guys. Zeus out! See? I told you I got those hoes in my outro.